A great way, and I uh, wrote an article, it was in Golf Magazine a few years ago, I think January of 2019, I talked about looking up to hit it high. And notice if I just look up and I look at those clouds, I create just a little bit of tilt. You notice my, my chest and my shoulders tilt just a little bit, my spine, and this will help me to hit less down on it. The more down I hit, the more I'm going to point the loft into the ground. The ball's going to come out low. The more, the less down I hit on it, the more I'm going to point the loft towards the sky. Ball's going to come out higher. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to hit a golf ball higher. I'm going to go over a few setup changes that we can make to hit the golf ball higher as well as give you a very important intention that will have you hitting it higher than ever. But before we get to that, I've really enjoyed bringing this free content to you and our YouTube community, it's growing. And I'd like it to continue to grow and you can help me with that by liking this video when it's over subscribing to my YouTube channel, which just alerts you when I have new videos available for you to watch. Thank Me, which is a real cool new feature on YouTube, which allows you to contribute to the ongoing success of my YouTube channel. And as always, please comment. It helps in more ways than you know. Okay, so the first thing we have to discuss is why would I ever want to hit a ball higher when I'm playing golf? What's the reason? So there's a few situations we can find ourselves in that would we would benefit from being able to hit the ball higher. One of those situations, and we find it here at Naples Grand Golf Club, for those of you who are members or those of you who have played here, on our ninth hole, we have a tree that sits right in front of the green. And it's a par five, so if you lay up and you end up behind that tree, you better have a high shot in your game to get over that tree and to get the ball on the green. Now another situation might be, hey, I'm playing in a US Open and the greens are really hard and I need height, I need trajectory, so when the ball hits the green, it'll actually stop. It won't carry them over the back. And for those of you who find yourself rolling over the back of greens, this is going to be a very helpful discussion for you because you definitely need to hit the ball higher so when it hits the green it will actually stay. So landing angle, the angle that the ball is landing at, becomes pretty important. And then another situation is if you play Colorado, parts of the Northeast, we have big elevation changes. And so if the, ball, if the green is sitting up on, on top of a hill, in that situation the higher I can hit it, uh, better chance I have of holding that green and uh, resulting in a lower score, which is what we're all out here to do. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk about uh, some setup things we can do that uh, are really quite easy, and then from there, I'll give you something that will help you to make sure you get over that tree, make sure you hit it high each and every time. So what are some setup things that I can do to hit the golf ball higher. The first thing I want to do is I want to take as much loft as I possibly can to hit the particular shot. So let's say I'm, I need to go over a tree and I think I can get a 7 iron over the tree. I think I can get it high enough to hit this 7 iron up over that tree. Well then take an 8 iron and I use the same strategy in a bunker. Uh, if you think you can get a 7 iron over the lip, take an 8 iron. So always default to a little more loft. Might not get you on the green, you might come up short of the green, but imagine if you hit the tree and the ball drops down and you advance the ball 10 yards. That's not helpful either. So you're better off taking a little less loft, getting it over the tree, uh, getting it up the hill, whatever the situation is, uh, and, and advancing the golf ball. I mean, that's a big thing in golf is just keep advancing it. If you can keep advancing it, get to the uh, hole in the, the least amount of strokes possible, that's what golf is all about. All right, so I'm going to use a little more loft. So I have my 8-iron here, so let's just say I'm, I'm actually going to hit over one of these trees out here on, on my driving range behind me. So I know I can get a 7-iron over, so I'm going to go ahead and, and grab the 8-iron just to make sure that I can get over it. Now, what are some other adjustments that I can make? 
Another thing I can do is I can get the ball a little bit more forward in my stance. So I like to see seven through sand wedge, which would include my eight iron, right in the middle of my stance. So that would be belt buckle, buttons on my shirt, my nose. So I want to just move it a little bit forward of where I normally play it. So I'm going to think a little bit more, for me, right eye. Uh, or my eye closest to the target. If you're a right-handed player, it's going to be more left eye. But nose being the center of my stance, I'm just going to move it a little closer to this eye, maybe even to the ear. Now, there's a few things we have to be careful with here. Is if I get it too far forward, there's a good chance I can bottom out behind, uh, hit it heavy, or bottom out behind and, and catch it thin. So, so we just got to watch, and, and this is certainly something I would hope that you would experiment a few times on the driving range uh, before we take it uh, on the golf course and, and certainly into uh, competition. So I've got my more lofted club here. I've got my eight iron. I'm going to move the ball slightly forward in my stance. One other thing that I can do to help me hit it just a little higher is just create a little bit of tilt, ever so slightly. Now when we hit a driver, we know to hit it up into the air and to hit up on it, we, we create a lot of tilt. Well, I don't quite have that luxury off the ground because when I hit a ball off the ground, uh, precision is a big topic. When I'm hitting a driver, I got the ball already up in the air nice and high on a tee so I can kind of play with my setup a little bit more. Can't quite do that when the ball's on the ground. So I'm going to move it forward. I'm just going to create just a little bit of tilt. A great way, and I uh, wrote an article, it was in Golf Magazine a few years ago, I think January of 2019, I talked about looking up to hit it high. And notice if I just look up and I look at those clouds, I create just a little bit of tilt. You notice my, my chest and my shoulders tilt just a little bit, my spine, and this will help me to hit less down on it. The more down I hit, the more I'm going to point the loft into the ground. The ball's going to come out low. The more, the less down I hit on it, the more I'm going to point the loft towards the sky. Ball's going to come out higher. So let's give this a shot. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to put all three of these things that we just talked about together. I'm going to use more loft. That's an easy one. Grab a more lofted club out of your bag. I'm going to move the ball forward, so I'm going to get it more kind of right ear, almost pushing, excuse me, right eye, almost pushing right ear. And then before I hit it, I'm just going to look up into the air and look at the uh, top of that tree out there. And then I'm going to swing, and we'll see uh, how we do as far as height. I'll have to report back to you because it's going to be hard for you guys to see on, uh, on the camera, but, but we'll give it a shot here. All right. So just making some setup adjustments. I've got my more lofted club. I've got my eight iron. I'm just going to slide it a little more forward in my stance than I usually have it. And then I'm just going to kind of look up at those clouds out over that tree out there. That'll just tilt my spine a little. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit it. Yeah, and, and definitely a high ball flight there. Definitely up over the tree, higher than what I typically see. Uh, when I hit a uh, normal stock shot, normal ball position. Okay, so that's certainly one way that we can hit the ball higher is just make a few setup adjustments. But what's something that, uh, what's a strategy that I can use that will assure that I get this ball up over the tree? And there was a, a study done uh, at Northwestern, I believe, where they, they took some golfers and first they did it with distance, like I'm, I want to hit it 50 yards. And they had the student deep stare, a deep gaze at that 50 yard target and then use their athleticism to go ahead and, and create that shot. But they also did it to hit the ball up into the air, hit it over a tree. And so what I'm going to do with this next one, and it kind of plays into uh, what we did setup wise, is as I'm looking up, I'm going to give a deep stare or a, a, a gaze at the top of that tree. I'm really going to focus. I'm really going to concentrate on it. I'm going to picture the ball flying up over that tree and then I'm going to create it. So let's hit another one. Let's see if we can put all this stuff together. So I've got my more lofted club. Like I said, that, that's the easy one. Grabbing a club with more loft is, is not that hard. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little in front of center. I'm going to create that little bit of tilt by looking up, but now as I look up, I'm going to really focus on the top of that tree. I can see this ball flying up over that tree, 
and then I'm going to execute. Yeah, and that was good. That was even higher than the first shot that I hit. So, a few things to do if you want to hit the golf ball higher. Use some more loft. Get the ball forward in your stance. Create that little bit of tilt by looking up. And then as you're looking up, focus on a cloud, the top of the tree, deep stare, deep gaze. It'll help you launch that ball up into the air. So now you're empowered as the player to hit the golf ball higher. I've given you a few setup changes you can make as well as an intention that will have you hitting it higher than ever. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have two more playing up here right now that I promise will help you to continue to improve your game. Remember, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, thank me, that new cool feature which allows you to contribute to the ongoing success of my YouTube channel, and comment.